newspaper article came out in Slidell. I want you to listen to this. You talk about perception. Dottie was 17 years old when she decided to go on a diet to lose 10 pounds. At that time, she was 5 foot 4 inches tall. She weighed 125 pounds. She was a very vibrant girl with long, dark hair and big brown eyes. She started her diet with the help of an exercise clinic instructor who recommended that she would take laxatives to help her lose the weight. Thus, it began the battle of the bulge that eventually would kill her. She died in 1989 at the age of 35. Her kidneys had failed, her heart and her lungs had all given out, all from starvation. Now listen to this. She weighed 70 pounds, and on her deathbed, she still thought she was fat. Anorexia. It's an illness of the mind. That person can look in the mirror, weighing 70 pounds, starving to death, and will see themselves as fat. The mind controls the vision. So you see how important is how are we perceiving ourselves? And how are our clients perceiving themselves? So when you're talking to them, you get a lot of this information, how they're perceiving themselves. So you'll know how to direct suggestions to them that'll be helpful and meaningful and beneficial to them. Working with weight reduction, it's changing their perception. I work with a, a, a doctor uh, who has a weight management clinic, and he puts people on a 500-calorie diet, and they do lose weight. And he monitors them very closely. But he said after they get off the diet, they gain the weight back plus even more. And it's because they still have the fat mentality. This hasn't changed. Sure, you could starve the body, and it's going to change. But you've got to change this before it'll be a permanent thing. 